Hi everyone, we're going to continue today with our video series videos on the letter of Colossians. And if you watched the last video, uh, you might remember that we focused on three things that uh, kind of uh, Paul uh, illustrates in the, in, the, in the letter of Colossians, in his introduction to the letter of Colossians. Uh, we see three major things, right? If you remember, thinking, praying, and doing. And today we're just going to focus on the first section um, of these three major points about the thinking and how is that Paul is thinking. But specifically, we're just going to focus in three things and three virtues that we see in verses three and four uh, and five. So that's our going to be a focus today. And then probably you can see it on the title what these three virtues are. And this is actually, these virtues are actually something common. Uh, that we see in, in Paul's letters, we see in different verses, in different letters, we see actually uh, these three virtues of uh, faith, love, and hope. And not only Paul, but also Peter, uh, for those who watched the, the, the series on First Peter, I did for months, we also see these uh, three virtues together many times. And um, and it's just very important, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about this and why is it is important for us as Christians in in this world in this moment, how is that we can apply this? Why is important to practice these three virtues? Now, just going back to uh, to just to the letter of Colossians, uh, if you remember, Paul is thanking them right in the in the first uh, four, he's thanking them, he's thanking the Colossians. And the three virtues is the reason why Paul is thanking God for the life of the Colossians. Colossians 1, 3, and 4 says, We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. So that's what we see, right? The first thing, you know, he's thanking God. God the Father, right? Oh, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he's thanking them because the three things that we're talking today, right? Because of the faith, you know, the faith that he heard. If you remember, he has known these people. So that's why he says he heard about this faith. And of course, this faith is in our Lord Jesus Christ. So we know that that's like, that's how our, as, as Christians, this is something that, of course, the first thing that we do, right? We put our faith on Jesus Christ as our Savior. But here Paul is not just talking about that faith, but it's also about this commitment and about actually believing in the truth of His Word, the truthness of uh, truthfulness of His Word, of the Gospel. If you see the context, he's very clear about this, that how important it is for us to really believe that God's Word, the God, the Gospel, it is true. And then we go to the next virtue, which is love. And, and as we see it, right, it says the love that you have for all the saints, right? So he's talking about this love that uh, as Christians, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we should have for each other. And of course, this topic about love and love one another or love each other, or love your neighbor. And how is that? Because we love God, we need to love others. So this topic of love, we know is the main one, right? Even in, in Corinthians, um, Paul talks that, you know, from, he mentions this, right? From uh, the virtue of faith, uh, hope and love, love is the most important. So it's very important for us as Christians that we really try to practice and live and love. Not just in saying, you know, we know about that too. It's not just about saying that we love them, but actually acting about this, practicing uh, the virtue of love and loving one another, loving the brothers and sisters in Christ. And now something different um, from this letter, and it's actually different from other parts where, like I just mentioned in 1 Corinthians 13, where uh, Paul says that love is the most important. In this letter specifically, we see that the reason why the reason of the faith and the love that they have from one another for the love that they have for all the saints, Paul says, it is because of the hope. So the hope that they have, the Colossians have, is what is causing them to have this faith and this love for one another. And specifically this hope laid up for you in heaven. 
And that's one of the things that we need to always remember in our life here in this earth. Of course, it's really hard for us uh, as Christians who live in this earth uh, full of temptations, um, you know, with just being bombarded by uh, social media, the TV, everywhere that we go about really putting your trust on things here on earth, on money, on your house, on stocks, and, you know, all these things on earth. But we know that that's not where our hope should be. Our hope, as Paul said it, is on heaven. It's laid out for us on heaven. But what we can learn as believers is that these three virtues, the virtue of faith, love, and hope, is something that we should practice, that we should be seeking to live with, to live and practice in our life. And we need God's help so that these virtues of faith, love, and hope can be part of our life and that we cannot just say that we love, that we have faith or that we have hope, but that we can show everyone around us, around our, our, our neighborhood, our work or whatever we are, everyone could see that we have that faith, that love for one another and that hope, not in the things here on earth, but in things that are waiting for us on heaven.